my name is Thorne Holder. Here are a couple exercises that help you get familiar with the soccer ball as a goalkeeper. These exercises will work on your hand-eye coordination and general ball handling for the beginners. So, first thing, before we start moving the ball around, let's have a look at the goalkeeping ready position, okay? So, first things first, you want to be on your toes, but not on your tippy toes like this. You want to be on the balls of your feet, okay? One easy way to think about it, if you have a pair of soccer cleats, there's some cleats in the back and there's some cleats in the front. As much as you can, stay off the ones in the back, okay? So for me, first thing, boom, on your toes. Secondly, you want to have your knees slightly bent and your chest upright facing forward, eyes on the ball, okay? So that's the second thing. So one, heels off the ground. Two, we nice in a ready spring position, okay? It's like a coiled spring ready to explode. Thirdly, you want to keep your head in front of your knees, okay? Traditionally, this is the most ready position. You see tennis players like this here with the tennis racket waiting for a serve? This is the most uh, ready position, traditionally, okay? So, knees off the ground, knees bent, nice and crouched. Heads in front of the knees so you're not leaning back, okay? So you're here, ready position, ready to go forward. Lastly, and most importantly, are your hands, okay? Now there are a couple of positions, all right, for your hands. Standard ready position for a shot outside the 18, the most balanced position, we're here. I call it guns blazing, bam, bam, bam. You have your hands here ready, okay? So from here, you can go up, you can go out with one hand, you can go two hands, you can go down, okay? From here, okay? This is not a starting position. This is more of a one-on-one, -on -one. okay? So somebody's getting closer, getting closer. Now you transition to block the low part of your body because you're not gonna be able to get down quick enough. The ball is a good distance away, hands up, this is the most balanced position. One-on-one, -on -one, you might get down to here, okay? So, ready position, bam! Right here, okay? Boom, tennis feet, here. Eyes on the ball, ready, I'm locked in. Eyes on the ball, I'm locked in. So that's the ready position, okay? Here are a couple of things you can do with the ball, all right? First thing is just bouncing the ball and catching it back, okay? So we're right here, bam! All right, but what's a couple key things to remember when catching the ball? First things first, you wanna keep the ball a reasonable distance from your body. You don't want to have your hands too much extended, too hyper-extended. You do not want your hands too close to your chest. So a nice little range in between here, bam. Okay, you want to leave a little bend in your elbow to absorb the shock of the ball. So we're here. Okay, so that's the first thing, distance from the body. So there is a slight W. If you have very tiny hands and you try to make a W, your hands are gonna be behind the ball. So the W is very slight, okay? It's not a very sharp W, it's more of like a, a U with a little bit of a deformity in the bottom, okay? So my hands are a little bit big. So this is what my W looks like. If you could see it here, okay? This is what my W looks like, because I'm a, I have bigger hands. If your hands are a little bit smaller, you might want to get your W like this behind the ball, okay? But the general goal is, if you want to split the ball in half, more of your fingers should, should be on top of the ball as opposed to under the ball, okay? So you don't want this. You don't want your hands under the ball like this. You want to be right behind the ball, a little bit over the top of the ball, okay with your thumbs covering the back of the ball here so this is the traditional w look again it's a very slight w like the wilson uh, logo as opposed to a very sharp w like the letter like this here this is no good all right so a slight w you want to have your fingers nice and spread out around the ball all right fantastic okay so while we're catching the ball we're going to work on that technique so bounce, catch, bounce, catch, right here. Bam, 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 bam. Okay, another thing you could do is if you have a wall, okay, you wanna throw the ball against the wall and catch it back. What I like to do is move the ball around my body like this because it gets my fingers nice and familiar with the soccer ball. I'm gonna go in the other direction, okay. 
That's another thing you can do. While warming up, a lot of the stretches I do with my goalkeepers involve skipping. I'm going to show you a couple. So we're going to skip and open, skip and open. All right. Usually I have a lot of space. All right. So we're going to go here. One, two, one. Okay. So that allows you to balance the ball with your hands. Okay. And get familiar with the ball in one hand. So you can practice it doing and so on. All right. So a couple more things. We're going to get familiar with moving the ball around here. This is a nice little warm-up exercise. Oh, Jesus. All right, so again, figure eight, nice and easy. Have the legs nice and wide. Keep the ball around here. OK, progress to here. Nice and easy. Figure eight in the air. OK? And then you get all the way to advanced stuff, twisting, twisting, getting your hands under the ball, under the ball. All right, off we go. Welcome back. So we are going to get into some basic throws and I have one camera guy today, he's a tripod. So we're only gonna get a couple of angles today, okay? Um, so as far as throwing the ball, you wanna have a lot of control with your one hand, okay? So we're gonna start with having control with one hand. We're gonna do a little exercise right here, which is this right here, back and forth. If you could do this without the ball slipping out, having complete control of the ball, great. Okay, I don't use my left hand to throw rally unless it's like a small sided game in practice. Uh, for games, I want to be 100% accurate 100% of the time. The next step is where you want the ball to go. Wherever you want the ball to go, you must take a step in that direction. Have your toes pointing in direction. I have my target over here. I'm gonna step, okay? Step. Big step where I want the ball to go. Okay, I'm gonna do it without the ball first. Okay, so I'm gonna step and I'm here, okay? Sometimes I put my non-rolling hand on my left knee. Keep your body upright and you're here, okay? The reason I'm bending this way is to get low to the ball, low to the ground, okay? So big step. You see how low my knee is to the ground? All right? So I'm just gonna get one proper through in here, so we're here. Follow through, all right? The javelin. Now, I'll be honest with you. It's very rare that I use a javelin throw. What is a javelin throw? It's, it's a basically a side throw. I'm gonna do it without the ball, because I don't wanna have to keep chasing balls. Uh, so a javelin is here. Okay, and I'm gonna do just one, just to demonstrate, okay? You are stepping, chest up and open, and you basically, you're not spinning the ball, but you're throwing the ball with the intention of the ball skidding on the surface. So you don't really use this throw if you have a very dry feel, okay? You need a wet surface, okay? A wet surface and short distance. So if you have a short distance between yourself and a defender, and you want to get the ball to him without having it stop in the water, then this is perfect. Okay, so we're here. Okay, nice and eight sharp, and we're down here. That's the javelin throw, okay? So again, uh, in the thousands of games, I probably played a, over, a little bit over a thousand games in my life. Um, I haven't used the throw much, don't use it much. The roll I use a lot. This throw, this throw is a weapon, okay? And that's the long throw, okay? So I'm gonna start with, uh, I'm gonna start with the form, which I'll do without the ball, and then I'm gonna do one complete throw with the ball, okay? So the first thing is, again, where do you want the ball to go? So with the low ball, I have your toes pointing to where you want the ball to go. With the high ball, we're gonna start with your shoulders pointing to where you want the ball to go. Okay, that's how I do it, okay? So for me, I do the same thing with my services as well. So if I'm, and I call kicking the ball out my hand like this, I call that service. So as far as the way I throw, uh, I throw from here, you know, I also kick from here too now. I, I kick side on. So I line my shoulder up with my target and then I do a couple steps towards my target, okay? So that's the first thing. 
Where do you want the ball to go? And I line my shoulder up with that, okay? Because a lot of my energy comes from this step, and I'm gonna start here, and my core is gonna be twisted, okay? It's gonna be twisted from here to here, okay? So I'm starting here. If I start here, how am I gonna twist? Okay, so I start here. Target is here, okay? And it's gonna be a big step. It's gonna be a big step, okay? So let's pretend I have a ball in my hand. You would have already been doing uh, comfort ball exercises to get comfortable with the ball, okay? So I'm stepping, big step, and it's over, okay? It's not out to the side like this. You can do that throw and the ball is gonna rip, but for distance and accuracy for a well-driven, well, a flat throw, you want a big step over, and you really want to feel the ball coming off your fingertips with a little bit of a backspin. All right, so I'm going to do one just to demonstrate how that looks. Hey, Zach, see him. Throw this ball back for me. Okay, ready? So I'm gonna give you guys a side view of what that should look like. All right, ready, Zay? My shoulders are here. I'm gonna step. Okay, perfect. So we have the low throw, which is here. Nice and easy. All right, remember, toes pointed to where the ball goes. Down. All right, you wanna reach forward. Follow through. You have the javelin. Chest open and up, we're right here. That's for wet surfaces. And then you have the master of all throws, the long throws for, for counter attacks. Okay, counter attacks, that's, that's me. And I've had about at least eight assists off of throws. Six of those assists came from one guy. His name was Rowan Nelson. Um, but that's it for throws today, all right? Mm -hmm.